<laughs> Let's go, man. Thank you. Sing. Welcome to next episode of our Star Citizen 3.0 PTU playthrough as we take in the views. I've decided we're going to make an executive decision. Um, we're not going to do a mission just yet. Why? We need our first planetary landing. We pulled our freelancer out of Hawk. We paid the insurance fees. We patched up any damages. And now it's that time. We're going to go where we've never gone before. Landed where we've never landed before. We're going to put the gold Yeezy boots for the first time in Star Citizen history. We're going to put it on turf that's not UEE owned. Let's go ahead and go flight ready right off the bat. I do have some acquiescence to share. I'm still on the mouse and keyboard. But that won't affect our, our flight, I promise. Dan, how can you say that? Well, I'm just saying. Look at that. Look at that. Splitting the splitting the rings of Ollie. Speaking of splitting the rings of Ollie, can anyone tell me what happened to sec Security Port Korea? Uh, gears up. Thank you, sir. Look at this. Taking the views. Enjoy the salt. Look at that. Favorite ship in the game. Let's go. All right. Dial in. We're going to go to whatever planet we want to. We're not going to be bound to a mission trying to make money. The money will come to us. It will. So, we can go to Yella, Daymar, or Selen. Let's go to Daymar. Lock it in. Set as the desk. We will be landing planet side. You can set your watch. You can set your vanilla cupcakes to that. Set as the destination. We are locked in. We are going to keep a watchful eye. <laughs> <laughs> on our gasoline on our fuel I promise you that so as we dial in here let's go ahead and quantum up here thank you for that where's our fuel availability here I want to hold the F button but I'd rather get some views from the six here look at this particle effects please honestly I think I like the particle fix better than than uh, the quantum like heat shield deal it's just a it's just a nice, nice touch. All right, so here we are. Multiple locales. I think since it's the closest, we're going to go to the Dunlow Ridge Emergency Shelter. Fuel's at a nice 99. Let's go ahead. Step some gas on it here. I would like to walk away from the ship and let it coast in, but I think we've learned our lesson on that. We can look around, though. Open exterior, press to unlock, not keep it locked up for right now. Can't trust anyone. I just, I would just love to know. Can we switch this? I'd love to know if we can just walk and the, the ship will continue to coast in. We're going to the Dunlow Ridge Emergency Shelter for, shelter for our very first planet side landing. Well, Dan, how do you know you're not going to crash? Harvest hydroponics? What are all these locations? So we're, so many places to explore. I'm just trying to look around here, see if there's any buttons we can push. <laughs> I do want to thank you guys so much for all the support on the first couple episodes. Uh, it's really exciting to be back in Star Citizen and just have a, a plethora, a wealth, a cornucopia of things to do, explore, and most importantly, <laughs> crash inadvertently. All right, so I think we've hit all the buttons we've put out. I, I was hoping we could maybe customize a couple of these things here, but... It's not, not in the cards today. Well, we are coasting. Let's go ahead and see if there are any missions. We're not going to make it a high priority, but we can keep an, a watchful eye on this kilometer deal here. All right, so we have someone lost in space. Unified Distributed Management is looking to hire a freelance pirate for a retrieval job. Doesn't say where it is. A caterpillar was lost in transit. You have to navigate the last point of contact and extract a crate from the wreckage. You will then need to deliver it to the Shubin outpost on Daymar. ECN alert. We've been getting a lot of those. Emergency signal from broadcast in distress. We'll accept that. Missing persons case. Not interested in that. I don't, I'm not CSI. Get that out of here. Cover needed. No problem. Alright. Things are looking up. Let's go ahead and 
Slap that in the DMs. We lost a little bit of thrust, not a whole lot. Um, we've got 96 fuel. Things are looking up right now. Let's go ahead and... Speaking of things looking up... Let's get some more views here. Look at the trail. We are getting close. Look at that. The rainbow is not always circular. Damn, that makes next to no sense. I kind of want to get like... want to get in the mix here a little bit. Well, Dan, you're getting in the mix. What, what else do you want? I think, you know, honestly, I think from a timing standpoint, the time it takes to land or to at least get planet side, I'm okay with that. There's plenty of other things to to get yourself occupied with. So, so essentially 300,000 kilometers is more or less what? Three minutes? It will, I'm sure it will get to a point, well, Dan, you're pontificating. Well, I don't mean to pontificate, but I'm sure it will get to a point where there will be enough going on in here with comm links, dealing with jabronis and melvins that, that you're, we're going to stay busy enough. So here's my question. If I hit F12 now and it brings up the chat box, are we going to lose our hunted? Or excuse me, our thousand speed? I don't know, but we're going to... If you didn't believe that we are capable of a planet-side landing due to our previous... <laughs> our previous uh, follies with planet side excursions you're in for a wild ride look at this you can see the craters the real question is how many hidden donuts snacky cakes cosmic brownies are hidden in the ridges where are we at Delamar or Damar Delamar I believe oh, Dan you don't even know where you're going Look, you know who you're talking to? People are, It's funny. I, I feel like 95%, and that's just an arbitrary number I just made up. Kind of, not really. 95% of the people that watch my videos understand, hey, look, we're in it for the good time and a long time. And there, then there's like the 5% of people like, oh, you're the worst pilot of all time. Don't you ever... You should try playing before you play. That, that makes no sense to me. Let's go the heat shield. Can we get a picture? The heat shield, Dan, well, you may crash. Look at the shield that is hot. All right, time time to dial in here, Dan. Max safe speed. We're going to look at this. Coast in here a little bit, Dan. Yo, it's going to tear apart. <laughs> Listen to this. Um, perhaps have lost control of the flight. Get the get your get your hands back on the wheel. Uh oh, are we in some sort of like cosmic? Oh, not not again. We got plenty of time to save this thing. Pull up. This is this is not good. This is not good. Cut the engines. All right, turn it back on. No, pull up, pull up, pull up. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Cut the engines. Cut the engines! Cut the engines! Pull up! Cut the engines! I got- I, my hands aren't on the yoke! Cut the engines! <laughs> um... That's not exactly what we planned. But it's exactly what we deserved. <laughs> I was at look, I don't care who you are. <laughs> what was that? What? Look, oh Dan, you're just trolling. I'm not. I I literally lost all freaking control of the ship. Well, Dan, do you think that's the first time that's happened? I would like to do a little skimming here. I, I don't feel this is not one small step for Dan. We're not to that point yet. We've got to at least land in a interesting locale. Well, Dan, this is interesting, isn't it?
I mean, <laughs> look at it. I mean, 10-point landing? I, I don't think anyone's going to deny that fact. <laughs> what happened? All right, all right, all right. We're dialed in. We're dialed in. All right, thank you for that moment. We'll, we'll not, just when you think, like, uh-oh. Okay, let's just... Can we raise up? Okay, we now have... We now have our control back. Okay. Nice and easy. Okay, we're back in business. Straighten her out. Let's just enjoy the views here. The emergency sh shelters... We'll let me cut the throttle down just a little bit. Just so we can get a nice... Look at this. I want to put the landing gear up, but... I know that that could be hazardous to our health. I can't believe this, man. This is like, we've finally done it. Not that so much that we've done it, but this is like the Star Citizen experience that we've, <laughs> we've wanted from the start. You can go to any planet and just enjoy. Look at all these crevasses. What do we even do? There's so much to do, Dan. All right, dial in. You're lucky that you survived that. I'm not, look, I am not denying that. Let's put a little, a little gas on it here. Man, talk about a beautiful game. <laughs> Our piloting, look. We could use a little work every now and then, you know? It's, look, if we came out coming out of here like Chuck Yeager, there's no room for improvement. Now, there's plenty of room for improvement. Dan, are you literally just going to coast it in this slow? I literally am going to do that. Because I would like to just... Check out the Dunlow Ridge Emergency Shelter for all it's known for. It's, it's lore. We'll put a little heat on this. Okay, that's plenty of heat. <laughs> Coming in hot, boys. Now, the second thing we haven't even decided to acquiesce. What if there's pirates here? What if there's jabronis here? Look at that. Coming in hot, boys. No. Christopher, do not do this to me, please. Chris, we're right there. Chris, we're right there. No. No. All right, so to bring you back in the mix, we had some issues landing, uh, not on our end. We had uh, some crashes because it is the Alpha PTU. So we, we we dialed up a new ship. I went tried to go basic. I tried to actually go to Daymar a few times. It didn't work out. So we're actually going to try to get our first planetary landing at Yella in a stealth hornet. Our, our dreams are high. Our hopes are even higher. Are we going to be able to pull it off? We're, we're about to find out here. Should probably... We're headed towards... Uh, what are we headed towards here? Deacon's Research Outpost Center. Excited to check it out. We have yet to properly land on a surface. Jump out two feet golden boots on the ground. I'm hoping this is going to be the moment. Deacon's Research Outpost. Should we get so lucky? It has been quite the battle. But it's a battle that we welcome day in and day out. I believe as we press on, as we move forward day by day, hour by hour, especially... After the holiday break, I think uh, PT will probably get a little more stabled off so we can do some vast exploration. What are these crevasses? What is that? Is that water? Is that islands? What is that? I don't know. We got a little bit of time for a few more sliding into the DMs. Great, great views from the six here. As the crevasses actually pull themselves in. All right. So here we are. We're coming in at a cool. 1,224 kilometers per second. I don't see the research outpost. Is it like... Baggins is at Hideaway? We probably need to just... Take it easy. Also, there was no... Uh, there was no atmosphere here. I think that was part of the issue. I think there's like some bugs when you when you get atmospheric up. We didn't, we didn't experience that here. Well, then that's because yellow is a moon. There is no atmosphere as well. Let's go. Take her in nice and easy. This is our moment. <laughs> I 
I kind of want to get that view, but at the same time, I don't want to crash. Let's cut the engines here, boys, a little bit. Uh, how about the land? He's done it. Pull back, pull back. What are, what are these people doing out here? I hope they've, they've got enough mittens and hats for the rest of us. Should we just gently coast her down? Oh, there's landing pads. Should we actually try to set ourselves down on one? Sure, why not? Skirt, 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 skirt. Nice and easy. <laughs> set her down, boys. I don't have my vertical thrust set up, so we're just gonna have to just crunch. Crunch. Landing complete. Crunch. There's always Take just off. there's always just a little bit extra. There's always just a little bit extra. Can we exit, please? <laughs> Open the canopy, please. One exit. Open the ladder. Can we exit, please? <laughs> One small step for Dan. One giant leap. <laughs> We've done it. We've landed. Our first actual landing on a planet side. There was bumps, there were bruises, there was everything in between. Look at this. <laughs> and who'd, who'd have thought it would be in the Hornet ghost? One wing still barely attached. Guns up. Would we not have a gun? <laughs> Time to explore here. We have no pistol? What happens if we get drawn on? <laughs> I don't know. But the first research outpost, look at those frames. Just take it all in. In the full Yeezys. I hope no one comes for any any issues. Look at that. We go from casual sliding into the DMs here. Let's get the full on sprint thanks to the mouse wheel. Who knows what lies beyond the great Bering Sea? <laughs> What's in here? I don't know, Dan. Calm down. Let's find a way in here for. <gasps> We're not alone. Oh no. We are not alone, boys. Oh. <laughs> What do we do? Our first. We have no weapon. Although it looks like we have a pistol on our sidearm. We would we would most notably need to check for papers. I I don't know what to do. Let's get inside quickly. <laughs> but they're much more skilled at the landing process and we are how do we get inside quick maybe there'll be weapons inside oh get in lock every door do not let anyone else in this is our new home psycho please thank you oh, it just got intense what is this Can we put that on Power cell accepted and active. Can we open any? Can we take any of this stuff? Uh oh. <laughs> Here they come. Um, I need to sip this coffee, please. Uh, dap up some of these beans. Any chance of guns? Long haul quarterly. Which haul is right for you? Looks like there's been. Some tomfoolery going on here. Uh oh. 
What's this? I'm not seeing any weapons. We have none. It's not allowing us to... Growing today and tomorrow. Turlet? We cannot go in the turlet. I don't see him, man. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Who just landed at Yella Deacons? <laughs> so this is it. No weapons. This, is this how we go out? I would like to try on one of these 21 jumpsuits. Alright, what else is out here? I mean, the other thing we could do... We could have... <gasps> Give him a salute. <laughs> yes. Let's let's run after him. Go. Let's go. What is this? Is our new squad? Let's, let's casual stroll it. We don't want. We don't want to. We don't want to put any unnecessary pressure on this individual unless they're trying to get a gun first. <laughs> Let's go. Let me in there. Let me in. Cycle it up. Search for the guns. Cycle. Cycle. Did he get in? He got in with us. Oh, Alright, it's a mad dash for the gun. Dan, why does it always have to be about fighting? Wish you could take that with you. He's already... Oh, whoa, he just disappeared. He's Ant-Man. Can we pick up any of these boxes? I feel like this is where the cargo... I want to start taking some of these red boxes I need to take. <gasps> what is this, a kumquat? <laughs> what is all this stuff? Watermelon boys. I need to I thought this is like item 1.0. You're supposed to be able to pick up everything. Manipulate everything. I want to bring some of that back home. We have to find security port Korea also. Any guns. Big pennies. Potassium powder. Well, I think this only leaves us one thing left on the planet to do. And that's perhaps commandeer. The ship outside. Dan, you got 3.0 in your hands, and that's what you want to do? You want to commandeer a ship? Look. It's commandeer or be commandeer in the cruel world known as 3.0. LOL, my truck. It's so funny when you waste Dan Geesling on a live stream, he acts like he won. <laughs> Is he going back in? I mean, we're not even appreciating the sights and sounds out there. I mean, should we just perhaps... Take the constellation? I wish we could launch that snub. Unless he locked it up. Can we... Can we slide back into the DMs here? I think it's locked. Maybe he... Did you leave this unlocked? Smart man. We cannot slide into the DMs. Alright, so we can't... None of this can be activated. How are we doing vital-wise? <laughs> Our heart's beating pretty fast. Alright, so... We checked out this locale. We've had our first encounter. <laughs> I guess good thing for us we didn't have a pisty on us. Could have been uh, less than a fortunate situation. We did drop a little. Is he taking off? 
well damn you demon search all the places that's because I'm nervous there's a there's a looter out there let's uh let's do a little bit a little bit more uh yo I think the, the system's bugged I don't think we can get into any ships got plenty of oxygen supply remaining I'll check that. We can get in. Just needed a little ingenuity there, a little quick jump. Alright, so we're gonna slide back in here. And, uh... I mean... Looks like there's some, some small issues here. Let's go ahead and get ourselves powered up. I don't necessarily want to be flight ready. Because of this reason. Hold on to your butts, boys. How do we vertically raise? Not like this. <laughs> Hold on here. Give me one second. Give me one second, it's gonna blow. Alright, the magic bag says... Spacebar is strafe up, who would have known? Get us out of here! I think we're caught. Landing gear up, boys. <laughs> it's gonna blow. It is gonna blow. We're caught in some kind of hellstorm. <laughs> Get up. We got caught. He's done it. Get us out of here. What are we caught on? Dan, did you turn your engines on? I believe our engines are on. I mean, we could shut it all down and try it again. <laughs> About, about one more one more time get ourselves flight ready there's just so much skimming we need to do here okay I think we've hit that situation where our, our keyboards were not like flight flight active right because I'm, I'm using my throttle here and it's not working so it could be just one of those situations we need to how about we F1 does F1 read retarget us <laughs> I don't know what's going on just mass chaos turn that bad boy on that looks like a button we shouldn't hit <laughs> hang on hang on come on Engines offline. okay thank you for that now can we get this thing? I, think we, I mean, 100% we're bugged. I'm not this bad of a pilot. So here's, we're going to just try and swing this thing around. Get out of here. Yeah, it's 100% we're bugged. So let's see, can we eject here? That, that could be interesting, ejecting. Ripcord. <laughs> We're out of here, boys. Get that EVA life. 100% of this bug. Maybe can we hack our way into here? Oh, there's no gravity. Batten down the hatches here, boys. You thought we were going to give up? We're hacking. <laughs> Look at that thing is about to blow. Please tell me the hatch opens up here. Oh, that's a great shot. A look of disgust. Your health is low. You think we get a guy like me's got a med pen? No. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 
enjoyed the episode. If you guys did, click the like button helps out a great deal. As always, we'll be, we're back daily with morning star citizen videos let me know what you guys thought in the comments below we've just scratched the surface i've already gotten into so much tomfoolery thank you guys so much for watching if you loved it share it with a friend enemy favorite bbs aol website or favorite blog whatever i'll see you guys next time later